Welcome to this tutorial. You've set up the basic outline of your ePortfolio. Now let's get to work on your welcome page, and while we do that, we'll learn how YOLA works. First, we need to log in again. You can always see what page you're on by looking right here. You're on the index page, which also happens to be your welcome page. Our welcome page doesn't have any content, but we can easily fix that. On the right side of the window are the tools you'll need to add content. And the most frequently used tools are visible. Grab the text tool and drag it over to the content area and then let go. You now have a text window within which to write. Notice that you also have a ribbon of standard word processing tools at the top here. Let's type a heading and format it the way we want. You really should say a bit more than what is in your heading, so you can either keep typing in the original text window, or we can do something a little fancier. Grab the column divider tool and drag it over to the workspace just below your heading and let it go. Now grab the text tool and drag it to one of the columns you've just created. You can type in here and write a paragraph welcoming folks to your ePortfolio and telling them how to find material in it. Now I'd like to add a photo to the other column, so I'll grab the picture tool and drag it over and let it go. Then I can select a photo that I have stored on my computer. And there it is. The other big piece that should be on your welcome page is some information about you. Watch as I do this. Remember, you do not have to put your photo in the ePortfolio, nor do you have to put your full name or other detailed information. Pretend it's the first day of class and you are introducing yourself to your classmates. What would you tell them?
When I'm done for a daily session, I can preview this page and see what it would look like on the web. So you can see I would probably have a fuller paragraph here. And I would make this as a full heading, make it bold and larger, and then complete this information, or write paragraphs, it doesn't matter. I would also add some spaces at the bottom of this full paragraph to make a space in between these two sections here. But you can see that it's very easy to welcome people in a stylistic way to your ePortfolio. In between this tutorial and the next one, I'll complete this section and you'll see what I mean.